Hello, my name is Farlin Chang. You may know me from my days as a correspondent for NBC and also a business news anchor for CNN. I love telling good stories and I'd like to share with you now a very personal story. This one is especially for my fellow Asian Americans who love our country, who are proud to be Americans and who want our country to form a more perfect union. Why do I support the Asian American civil rights group called 8020? Because I believe it's fighting for all of us and serving our future generations. And I ask that you please join the cause and share this video. What's driving me? A big part of my life in media, business, and education involves bridging East and West, especially between America and Asia. To that end, one of my greatest mentors is also one of my first bosses, S.B. Wu, the former Lieutenant Governor of Delaware. And today, decades later, I'm proud to say, I am helping S.B. again on a great cause. This cause goes far beyond any one candidate or any one party. This cause is for advancing equal opportunity and justice for all Asian Americans. The history of America is the history of the immigrant underclass using the political process to climb out to be the equal class. We're not looking for any favor. We just want equal opportunity to rise to the top. As you know in the U.S., Asian Americans are growing fast, but at about 20 million people, we still form a small minority, about 5% of the total U.S. population. We often get the short end of the stick, from glass ceilings in the workplace to higher bars for college admissions, and from racial profiling as foreign spies to being passed over for high-level government posts. And in politics, we are easily taken advantage of and discriminated against. For nearly 20 years, S.B. Wu has been volunteering for and leading an Asian American political action committee called AD20 PAC. It's aimed at forming a swing block vote of our Asian American community. The two key words here are swing and block. Block means our group ideally mobilizes and delivers 80% of our votes for the U.S. presidential candidate who best supports our rightful concerns. This block has great power to swing a close election. And in this way, Asian Americans can be a kingmaker. We need to have the internal political cohesion in order to create the group political clout. So this is what 8020 is all about. 8020 is nonpartisan. It is not for Democrat or for the Republicans. We judge by which party has done more for our rightful concerns, and that is the party that we will support. We want to create a block vote because only a block vote can enable us to reward politicians who care for our rightful concerns and censure those who don't. Such power is why politicians are no longer ignoring Asian Americans. Since 8020 started engaging presidential candidates in 2000, the group has achieved unrivaled results. And for the first time ever, presidential candidates started giving concrete promises to fight for our rights. No other Asian American group has secured from the candidates such specific promises in writing and worked to enforce them. How have presidential candidates answered over the years? In writing? See for yourself. Sign promises from Al Gore in 2000, John Kerry 2004, Joe Biden, Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama in 2008, and now Clinton again in 2016. How effective has 8020 been? Look at the results and you be the judge. Sing it something like this. Listen here. Oh, beautiful, far spacious skies. Every election since 2000, 8020 has been living up more and more to its namesake by delivering a bigger and bigger block vote for 8020's endorsed candidate. It's been growing from a 54% block vote to 73%. And here you can see the proof. Which party does 8020 support? None. 8020 is nonpartisan. It aims to support those candidates who will fight for our rightful concerns, not any one party. And our flexibility to swing to either party helps our small group leverage our maximum weight. 
8020 has compiled a questionnaire for the presidential candidates about our key issues, and you can see that at the link below. How have candidates answered so far this election? Among the Republicans, Donald Trump has not answered. Among the Democrats, Secretary Clinton has answered satisfactorily, while Senator Sanders has ignored it. So between the Democrats, 8020 has endorsed Hillary over Bernie to reward her and punish him. Carrots and sticks, pragmatism and principle. Later this summer, 8020 will hold an endorsement convention to decide which candidate to support in the general election. But for now, please join the tens of thousands of other Asian Americans who signed up, just like me, to be 8020 members. It's only $75 a year for professional basis members. And even more, I hope you and yours will consider joining me as lifetime members. It's a tiny investment, a huge return. And here's the link below to join. Who are the people who support 8020? Let's hear from some in their own words. Eighty Twenty will support those groups that believe in equal opportunity and access for all Americans and deny those individuals who do not believe in that. Small minority who can vote together in a block, it can uh, determine the outcome of uh, many elections. I serve on the board of 8020, which is an initiative that helps advance the cause for Asian Americans to break the glass ceiling and to get commitments from our elected officials to make sure that there are equal opportunity for Asian Americans. That's exciting to, um, to unite together, especially since the Asian American um, population in the U.S. and especially in California is growing, and I think this is our time to really get our issues out there. And you know, I think we represent close to 4% of the large, you know, larger population. So when you think about it, if we continue to really just become more separated around specific ethnic communities, then we're going to be Unaffective, you know, and I think that's why we really need to come together. Abraham Lincoln said it best, a house divided cannot stand. Ever thought why Jewish Americans are politically powerful? With only about six million in their population in the U.S., they maximize their internal cohesiveness to vote and donate in lopsided ratios for their presidential preference. What we Asian Americans give to support our civil rights is an embarrassing drop in the bucket compared to what other minorities give to their civil rights defenders. Our numbers are so small. We traditionally gave 50-50 to each party. These two factors condemned us to be the doormat of both parties. However, after forging unity and adopting the right political strategy, we can become the darling of both political parties. Help 8020 so that we can in turn help our children. So please join 8020 as members, please share this video, and let's get out the message, let's get out the vote. Finally, please subscribe to our newsletter so that you can stay updated. Many thanks for your time, your ear, and hopefully your support. And I'll leave you now with a music video explaining how 8020 is fighting for our community and why we hope you will join the cause. Thank you. American historian once said, the history of America is the history of the immigrant underclass using the political process to climb out to be the equal class. And that's what we are doing. We are not inventing anything. We are just trying the good old American way. Asian Americans need a collective political voice and we also need to have 
political internal cohesion. So 8020 is created to nurture that internal cohesion and produce that collective political voice. But for to win equal justice and equal opportunity in workplaces for Asian Americans. When I was in school, you know, we used to sing it something like this. No Asian American political organization has ever talked about using the power of the ballot box to deliver a block vote. And 8020 advocates use, uh, delivering a swing block vote. That means we are nonpartisan. We can go to Republican or to Democrat, depending on which party has done more for us. In Help such an organization grow so that you can help your own children to become first class citizens.